What's up everybody, Original151 here, welcome to episode 1 of my Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke, and holy shit, it feels great to finally say that. I have been waiting so patiently to start this series on the channel, the hype is so real, and without further ado, the moment has come, the time is now! And we're playing a new series on the channel. It's 2016. It's January 8th. Tomorrow's my birthday. But yeah, we're starting a new series, and I'm really excited. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, hey, how you doing? My name is Vinny. I have a lot of energy. The intro is restarting, but I'm going to keep talking. We did play Pokemon Fire Red on this channel before. It was actually our first series that we played on the channel back in February of 2014 when we made the channel. When I first created the channel, it was our first series. But unfortunately, due to some complications, one thing led to another. I lost the file. It got deleted. And we only made it up to about episode 27. Around Cinnabar Island is where we were. And then the game... The game file got deleted, and I couldn't complete Pokemon Fire Red, and I was really upset about that because this is one of my favorite Pokemon games, so I always, since that moment, I wanted to bring this game back on the channel, and now that time has finally come. The first time we played this game, it was a regular Let's Play, and this time, we're doing a little bit of a twist. We're doing a randomized Nuzlocke. For those of you that don't know the full rules of a Nuzlocke, click in the description of this video, and there is a full detailed list of all the Nuzlocke rules explaining everything. Basically, just to do this really quick, quickly, there are three major rules that you need to follow in a Nuzlocke. Number one, you need to nickname every Pokemon you catch. Number two, you can only catch the first Pokemon that you encounter in every new route or area, with the exception of a couple rules, the Species Clause and the Duplicate Clause, but that is also, I talk about all that in the description of the video in the rules, so go check that out if you have any more questions. And the last rule, and arguably the most important rule in Nuzlocke, if your Pokemon faints in battle, it is considered dead, and you must place it. In the death box. And if you guys have been on the channel for a while, you guys know I don't handle death very well on this channel. I hate putting my Pokemon in the death box. I get very emotionally attached to my Pokemon, and I get sad when they die. And hopefully that's not going to happen a lot in this lock, but you never know. I make some careless mistakes. Sometimes there's nothing I can do, and I just have to suffer the consequence and keep moving forward. Like Rocky Balboa says, it's not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. I've been watching a lot of Rocky Balboa lately. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that. If you're not following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, at Vinny. Click that follow button, you'll get a nice behind-the-scenes look at my life. But enough about my Twitter plug. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, to start this series. Actually, it's not time. Like I said before, it is a Nuzlocke, and it is a randomized Nuzlocke. So, I just want to talk really quickly about some of the things that I randomized. I randomized, obviously, the starter Pokemon, all wild Pokemon. I randomized all the Pokemon that we will be facing from trainers in battle. I randomized the trainers' names and their class names. I randomized... What else did I randomized? I randomized the base stats of all Pokemon. So... If a Charizard usually has high special attack and high speed, that could be completely different. All of the Pokemon's base stats will be changed, which is really awesome. I think that's going to be a great addition to this lock. Uh, another thing I did is I randomized the Pokemon's abilities. So, some Pokemon, I think all the Pokemon actually, are going to have random abilities, which is going to be really cool. I made it so that our rival will have the same starter Pokemon that he picks in the beginning of the game throughout the whole game, which I, I like that. I think that's a nice touch. I made it so that when you go to battle a legendary Pokemon, it will be random, but it will be a random legendary. So you won't walk up to a Mewtwo and then end up battling a Pidgey. You'll end up battling either a Mew or a Zapdos or an Articuno, whatever. Static Pokemon, like the Eevee that you get in this game, will be randomized to another Pokemon. It won't be a legendary. Like I said, the legendaries get randomized to legendaries, and the regular Pokemon get randomized to regular Pokemon. But we can walk into the grass and find a Mewtwo. We can find legendary Pokemon in the wild, which is exciting. Hopefully we'll be able to catch one, because those are pretty difficult to catch. I'm just really excited. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I never pretend to be excited. I'm usually, when I, when I say I'm excited, I am very excited. I am very excited. Very excited to play this game. Towards the end of Glazed, in the last couple of episodes, I already had in my mind that I was going to play this series. 
probably like two months ago, I, I planned this, and I got all the art done and all that stuff, and first of all, look at this amazing layout, these amazing thumbnails, shout out to Rafiki the Wise for hooking up such amazing art, hit him up if you're looking for graphics, he's absolutely awesome, and I can't thank him enough for the amazing job he did on this series, but enough about me rambling, I've been rambling for a couple minutes now, and the... The intro just keeps replaying and replaying because I keep talking and talking. It is time to finally begin our journey here in Pokemon Fire Red version randomized Nuzlocke. I'm repeating myself. I'm excited. Let's get started right now. Let's press start. We hear Charizard cry. I'm going to turn my volume up in my headphones. And I am just... I can't wait, man. I am just so excited. I, I'm just going to read this dialogue and smile. Not dialogue, read this passage and smile, because I'm so freaking happy. In the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. I will do that. I will do that. Look at that Pikachu bouncing at the top left corner. Adorable. 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 New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. I feel like I'm fucking Scooby-Doo right now. Yeah, I'm gonna solve a bunch of mysteries. Anyway, at times you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. That's just like Rocky Balboa says. Keep moving forward. I love it. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. This is our biggest objective. Press the A button and let your adventure begin. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. I haven't said this yet, but I'm hyped. And if you guys are hyped, make sure you destroy that like button. It's very important for like the first episode of a new series to get like a ton of of feedback like I hope this video has a ton of comments and a ton of likes because I just I want to see that you guys are interested in this new adventure that we're about to embark on so hopefully this is the like goal for today's episode I know this may seem like a stretch I really hope that we can break like let's let's be reasonable but give us a give ourselves a challenge let's try to break 125 likes in episode one of Pokemon Fire Red I think we could do it I hope you guys will come through and without further ado, let's click A, and let's get started. I love the music! I love the music! Hello there! Glad to meet you! Welcome to the world of Pokemon! My name is Oak. We know who you are, Oak. I'm your biggest fan. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world... Look at this, Wigglytuff. Randomizer. Randomized. Love it is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. And there goes the Wigglytuff. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, for those of you that are new to the channel, hey, how you doing? My name is Vinny, I am a boy. And yes, my name is Vinny. So we're gonna type that in. And I do have a good idea of what I'm gonna name my rival in this game. Usually I just, I think I usually just name my rival Gary when I'm playing through Kanto. But this time, I'm doing something a little bit different. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. <clears throat> what was his name now? We are gonna give our rival a kick-ass name. We're gonna give our rival a name as the same I can't speak right now. The hype is overtaking my knowledge. We're gonna give our rival the same name as one of my good friends in the Pokemon community. He is also a Poketuber. He is great at what he does. He's one of my boys. We're gonna nickname our rival. That's right. That's right. We're gonna name our rival Asteroid. It's a perfect fit. It's a kick-ass name. Asteroid, I hope you're watching. We just nicknamed our rival after you, my friend. Asteroid is our rival. Erm, um, was it Asteroid? That's right, I remember now. His name is Asteroid. Couple questions right off the bat. If this is your grandson and his, he has a name like Asteroid, how do, you, how do you forget that, Oak? You getting senile, my friend? I gotta read this dialogue. I should have read it faster. We shrunk. We're in our room. The music is playing. Let's just, let's just, let's just enjoy this. Let's go see what Pokemon we can get. I'm so excited. All right, so I'm going to come right here into the PC. I'm going to boot it up, and I'm going to withdraw a potion. 
Now, a couple of things I want to do differently in this series than prior series, previous series. I want to really, really emphasize that I, I, I'm trying my best to not use the speed up button. I will use the speed up button in like very tedious battles and tedious situations, boring situations. But for the most part, I'm going to, if, if we're going back to the original series on this channel, I didn't use the speed up button hardly at all in that series. And that's what I want to do in this series. I want to chill with the speed up button. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to go back to our childhood. Grab ourselves and say, hey, it's time to re-enter our journey here in the Kanto region. I'm excited. Let's go. And here's the music. Hey, wait, don't go out. I'm, I'm not going to go out. I'm waiting for you there, guy. I'm waiting for you. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for protection. I know. Here, come with me. God, it's so early right now. I'm early or late, depending how you look at it. It's about 4.56 in the a.m. I'm really excited to be recording at this hour of the morning. Uh, let's come in here and let's talk to you. Uh, Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Asteroid, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Vinny, there are three Pokemon here. Ha 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 ha! I added a couple of ha-ha's there. The Pokemon are held inside of these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer, but now, in my old age, I only have these three left. You can have one, go on, choose! Uh, hi, Gramps, no power, what about me? Be patient, Asteroid! You can have one too, I love the way that sounds. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time to see which Pokemon we can possibly select as our first Pokemon in this game, as our starter Pokemon. I'm absurdly excited right now. I've said that so many times. Can someone let me know how many times I've said I'm excited in this episode? Because I'm excited, damn it. There goes another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Yo, the key to success in this lock on, on the real, on some real shit is picking a good starter Pokemon. And you guys have the power to do that, like I always do in the first episode of my series. I will let you guys decide which Pokemon out of these three you want me to select. So, once you see all three possible options, I want you guys to comment down below which Pokemon you think I should pick. And then I also want you to comment a nickname suggestion to go along with the Pokemon that you pick. So, the Pokemon that will get the most votes will win, and that will be my starter, and then I will choose a nickname. Out of the suggestions given by you guys. I don't mean to delay this. I'm just really excited. It's time to see what Pokemon we can select. Let's start right here on the right, on the east wing of the table. Our first possible starter Pokemon in our new series for this game. A randomized Nuzlocke is going to be a Duskull is our first possible starter Pokemon. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm not going to persuade you guys in any way. I know a lot of the times in my first episodes, I will see a Pokemon that I go banana sandwich over, and I'm like, yo, guys, you got to pick this. No, this is fully up to you guys. Whatever you guys want to pick, you guys pick. Our second option. Let's come over the way to the left now. Let's not go in order. Our second possible starter is going to be a Skitty. A Skitty, very cute, very cute indeed. I'm trying my best to not sway your opinion, but a Skitty, that is, that is cute. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the third and final possible option for a starter is going to be a Cyndaquil. A Cyndaquil! Okay, okay. Real quick again, a Duskull, a Duskull, a Skitty, and the Cyndaquil. Again, you guys decide. Who am I going to pick as my starter Pokemon? Let me know in the comments below. And leave a nickname suggestion as well. Now, this episode is going up on Friday, a.k.a. today, January 8th. And the series will pick up again on Monday after I tally up all the results. And I get back from vacation because I'm going away for the weekend because tomorrow's my birthday. I think I mentioned that. I probably did. Anyway, tomorrow's my birthday, January 9th. I'm turning 20, which is freaking insane. But anyway, the series will pick up back on Monday, pick up again on Monday, and then the, ep the series will be uploaded Monday through Friday. New episodes Monday through Friday when we get back. I'm excited. 
Let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know who I should pick. Leave your nickname suggestions. I hope you guys are excited for this series. I hope you're, you are as excited as I am. And as always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151, and I will see you guys next time.